Welcome, Welcome to the Nightly Rant with your, your hosts, hosts, Mike and Toria. This is the show where we examine society from a sarcastic point of view. If you like insane conversations, this is definitely the show for you. Let's get into today's topic. So I hear <laughs> you have a question for me to answer. I do. I do. This has been a burning question in my mind for at least 12 hours. All right. Well, yeah, well, we're just going to call it 12 hours. Why do RTC buses look better in direct sunlight? Dude. <laughs> I'm not even going to answer that question. It's been burning in my mind since you told me about it earlier. You know why she's, you know why she's bringing this up? Because, because, you know, I've been trying to, because we have a, um, a, you know, the, what happens in Vegas, Las Vegas channel on YouTube that is growing like gangbusters. Go subscribe. Thank you. YouTube.com at WHIV. Thank you. Subscribe. Anyway, that been like paying attention to like all the different Instagrams of people in Las Vegas. And I mean, honestly, I'm going to advise people. If you ever move to a new place and you want to learn about it quickly, find all of the people who post things about the the stuff in your city that are your interests. So like we like music. So I made sure to follow all kinds of bands, music venues, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I get all this news, right? Well, it drives me nuts that on the subreddits for Las Vegas, <laughs> and it's usually a local, by the way. That does this. Well, who else occasionally, there's a two. The well, but a cute, cute well, and this you're being very specific. I'm explaining why you're bringing it up. I'm just telling these you. These people say it's these people ask <laughs> these really dumb questions, and then and want, expect people to know the answer. And that was one of the questions: Why do RTC buses look better in the sunlight? How the hell does anyone know? Someone answered seriously? Question mark. Like. What? Did somebody get into like the specifics of the metallic paint on the side of the bus? No. I'm disappointed in someone for their lack of creativity. Like, come on. Why? But you know what? Don't make, don't insult people. You know what that means when you insult people? It means you have the emotional intelligence of a mushroom. Emotional intelligence. You know, you know how I know that? Because this dude online who knows everything told me that I have the emotional intelligence of a mushroom because I called him lunkhead for being a lunkhead. I don't know what a lunkhead is. Well, a lunkhead is someone who like has a thick skull and doesn't pay any attention to what anyone is saying to them. So like what, what type of people caused this insult to be born? Were there, was well, lunkhead not I, an insult at one point? This in is a loving, this is a loving statement. Bree is a lunkhead because in one, in one sense of the word, because that dog can run into a wall over and over and over and over with her head. And it doesn't face her at all. Literally a lunkhead. Yes. And the dude from Reddit is it's figuratively, figuratively a lunkhead. <laughs> but did lunkhead come from somewhere? Like in the 1950s? Um, was it probably, a type of person? Probably. Probably. I mean, Can I don't someone know. someone answer this question for me? I don't know. Like, Info at yogispodcastnetwork.com. Send the answer. Or Instagram. I will also accept this. Yes. Or Instagram. She will also accept this. Yes. Yogis underscore podcast underscore network. There we go. Thank you. It's a burning question. I've had a lot today. But. 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 He wants to say that you have the emotional intelligence of a mushroom. Let me ask you a question. Was that supposed to be an insult to me? Well, first off, who is he? Because I have the emotional intelligence of a mushroom, so I don't know. Was that supposed to be an insult to me? <laughs> yes, it was. Well, but but when, when was the last time I said ever said to you that I have any emotional intelligence? You once said to me in the last six months, hey, look, I had a little bit of emotional intelligence there. Yeah, now add that into the other 4,753,252 days that I've been alive. Yeah. Is it actually that many? Did you do the math? No. I'm disappointed in you now. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> <coughs> Bronchitis sucks. Oh, yeah. We're both sick still since. We've been sick five, all of 2024. The entire of 2024, we have been sick. I was well for two I'm days. Effing tired. Yeah, I was well for and two I'm days. Effing sick of being effing sick. So stop being a mushroom then. 
have some emotional intelligence. Well, clearly I am. Well, clearly I am. Clearly I am. I did. I told you you were. But clearly I am because, I mean, I'm going to be real with you people. I honestly, truly don't care what other people think about me. I don't care. You know, they can say things, but I know what's true and what's not true. Okay, but the funniest part of this entire thing is that he insulted you first. Yeah, he hurled he called, the first personal attack, which caused you to call him a lunkhead. Yeah, uh, he he yelled, he he called me names, multiple names, and I finally had saw that I was running into a, this guy. The reason I used Bree as the example is because she runs into things. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's how he was with this. I would throw something out there, he would bang his head into the wall. I'd throw something out there, he'd bang his head into the wall. You just gave me the opportunity to explain to anybody out there who's too stupid to know yet the difference between figuratively and literally. Which there are people out there too stupid to know the difference. So go for it. Explain the difference. Did. That was that was minutes ago. Well, now I'm the stupid one. It happens. I <laughs> know all too often. <laughs> you know, it, but he insulted you first, and then you were like, "Long kid," and he right. was like, "You have the emotional intelligence of a mushroom." Well, I'm sorry, bro. But what does that make thou who started it? Right. He, 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 at the very least, we have to believe he has the emotional intelligence of a mushroom as well. Like, and hold up, hold up a second. I realize that we're sounding kind of like kindergartners fighting over something right now with the he started it bullshit, but he dragged us down to the level of kindergartner. So and I mean, then, I'm and just then, fighting where I'm and at. And then beat us with his experience. Yeah, I'm just fighting where we're so at. It happens you when know? you fight an idiot. They tear you down to their level. They beat you down to their level. And then they win with experience. If we wanted to win at a fifth grade level, I'd say, I'm rubber, you're glue. Exactly. <laughs> well, remember what I said a few minutes ago. I literally don't care what people think about me. You're literally so, rubber. So I didn't even really realize it was an insult until we started talking about it. That's cool. That's why I asked you, was that supposed to be an insult? Because I, I thought about it as I was saying it out loud. And I was like, you know, it kind of comes off like it should be an insult. But I didn't feel insulted, not even a little bit. I was just like, okay, fine. I have the emotional intelligence of a mushroom. When have I ever claimed to have multiple? When have I ever claimed to have emotional intelligence? Just that once. Meaning, I don't even remember what that was about. Huh. Um, that was those weren't the only dumb questions or things that happened on Reddit today. You were captive, right? Because you were sitting next to me in a moving vehicle for two hours. Uh -huh. So there was you redditing away, reading me the bullshit. <laughs> they're, they're just... There was something else though about something they could have just called the place about, like literally no. Yeah, they were like, "How you know?" I ordered something, and and I'm and one of the pieces is missing, like one of the parts of the thing. I ordered three things and I only got two. What do I do? Right. Uh, call the place that you ordered it from and tell them. And then there was the person who canceled their subscription and it hadn't canceled yet, but they were asking on Reddit. Yeah, what do I, how do I, how, how do I get my money back? Well, you contact the literal only people who can give you your money back. You don't ask the figurative people who can give you your money back on Reddit. Well, and, and, and I don't understand what makes people go, wow, Discovery Plus hasn't refunded my money. Let me go ask Reddit what to do. Who does that? You have two options. You have the reasonable human being option, contact customer service and be like, hey, I canceled my subscription and you still charged me. Or you could do a chargeback showing where you canceled your subscription and the fact that they still charged you, which is the douchebag way, but still effective. Do you think that if people on that subreddit had said, you know, here's what you should do, blah, 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 and the consensus was to like do a certain thing, do you think that person would have been stupid enough to do that? If the consensus was that they had to climb to the bottom of the Grand Canyon and lick a neon pink frog for their money back, they would have been down there looking for a frog. I agree with way. you. I agree with you. And isn't that scary? Like, yes. And that's the thing. That's why I say you don't ask the masses. That's stupid. Which is why when, why does an RTC bus look better in direct sunlight popped up? I would have gone into some disgusting scientific description of the paint after I looked up what kind of paint they put on a bus. That's kind of funny. And about how it would it reflects the sunlight at a certain angle that is more pleasing to humans with green eyes. That's kind of funny. Like just hyper bullshit, but hilarious. I would have gotten so many upvotes, the world would have ended. Yeah, it's just funny because I don't know, there's an extra layer added there then when you do it that way. Just funny. 
it's just one of the charms of my sarcasm that you either tell me you love or they annoy the crap out of you today, depending on the day. <laughs> and who they're targeting. You know what, though? If you think about it, just kind of dawned on me just now. But if you think about it, we both do that to each other. Yeah. And it's not our fault. What it is, is that we're both pretty consistent. Until we're but not. you have glitches. Yeah. And I have glitches. And it just depends where those glitches match up. That's all. Right. There's nothing you can do about that. And sometimes they don't even have to match up because one of us glitches so hard, the other person being completely normal and eating a gummy orange slice makes you want to cut them. Yeah. So. And the, and the passive aggressive way that she drops these hints. No, I'm, I'm fully aware that me being annoyed that you were eating an orange slice so loudly. Well, anyway, eating an orange slice so loudly is me being completely unreasonable because who am I to tell you how to eat your orange slice? But I'm also saying yeah, it's passive aggressive because, sleep. but I'm also saying it's passive aggressive because you didn't say anything at the time. That's because you I'm unreasonable. Until now. Well, see, that's a I problem. I don't want you to change or do anything different because you should be able well, to eat your orange slice the way see, you want. See, this is where I disagree with you. I don't see that as changing or being different. I see it as being respectful of you. We have to live together, and by having to live together, we have to compromise on those things. There's a difference here between the orange slice Or better yet, collaborate. The orange slice consumption and the socks. The socks could be an everyday occurrence on the couch. Tell the people about the socks. Oh, I can't stand socks. And when my hands touch them, it makes like a painful shiver emit from every nerve of my spine. It's really not great. So... When I would sit down at night, and I'd know I was done for the day and I didn't have anywhere to go except maybe take the dogs out. And that didn't matter because I had flip flops for that. I would take my socks off. I put, put them, them on, the, on couch. the couch. Because it was just what he does. Because he's a human being and that was his habit. Well, <laughs> that was one thing that I, I, right away, I told you that that was something I needed if you possibly could to not have it. Yep. This is not that because you're not sitting there eating gummy orange slices every day and it's bothering me. I'm saying I was having a glitch, and that was what bothered me while it was occurring. Well, I think you were probably tired. You doing nothing wrong at all. That was my point. I think you were probably tired. Probably. I mean, I think you were probably tired. We drove to California this weekend and back. Drove there on a Friday, back on a Sunday. We left like Friday at like 6 a.m. And we got back Sunday at like 2.30 p.m. Yeah. So that's why we were tired. We stayed at a hotel that was interesting. There was a tap dance party f- until two in the morning on uh, on uh, Friday night and Saturday night. I didn't hear it on Saturday night. I know it went. Well, I was awake at one o'clock in the morning. It must have stopped earlier, but like you fell asleep, and because you had taken Nyquil, because like I said, we've been sick since the beginning of yeah. the year. You like fell asleep and you started snoring. Yes, and I, I was. was I was still reading. And the tap, tap, to tap, tap, to tap, 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 That's when you should tap, poke tap, me tap, in the tap. ribs and make me roll on my back. Well, your snoring wasn't what was bothering me. I actually find it kind of relaxing. <laughs> it was the tap tapping was still occurring. So Interesting. Because yeah, I know at 1 a.m. because I, I remember consciously thinking, wow, it's so quiet. Yeah, they. I fell asleep before they stopped, but huh. that was really not great. I wish I would have brought my headphones. Yeah. Then I had no problems, but. I don't know. Other than that, there was just a really strange assortment of people staying in this place. It was weird. It wasn't the cheapest of places, but it wasn't the most expensive either. Right. And at least it was clean. It was clean. It smelled clean and it didn't smell like bleach. So, you know. Right. There's a line. It was actual real clean, not like somebody like trying to cover smells up. It was mildly in disrepair. Some spots. Yeah, it was old. But they, it was clean. And that's really clean is all that matters to me. Well, yeah, especially when you're only staying there at night twice. And you're just sleeping there. You're not, like, living there. Right. Although we kind of lived there this time. Yeah, we spent a lot of time at the room this time. It was kind of like a little mini getaway for us. It's hard when your adult kids have jobs. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing that they have jobs. I'm proud of them for having jobs. And I'm proud of how hard they work. But it's tough to work around. We um probably could have planned an activity for Saturday afternoon. With Alyssa, but that's the only change yeah. that changed. Mm. I really thought the fabric would take longer. 
Well, that's because you expect me to be somebody who I'm not sometimes. Like you fabric stuffed with other people before, <laughs> and I'm not that. I'm like the man version of that. I want to see all the things, but I don't want to stand there and ponder them for 12 minutes. If I like them, they go in the cart. Oh, I like that. I like that about you. I it's... actually felt like you were expecting me to take longer, so I kind of like dawdled a little at the end. Because like, I felt like I had Well, to. yeah, I mean, I did expect <laughs> you to take longer. and. That's why I didn't think to plan anything for the afternoon. But right. I mean, now I don't know what the stuff. time that dinner was at and everything. It would have been hard to do we anything to, like, substant to, substantive and do something with her there. Yeah. I don't know what it would have been, though. Miniature golf, I guess. We'll, like go to Boomers. That place is closed. No, Boomers Irvine is still open. It's Boomers Fountain Valley that's closed. Uh, Boomers Irvine was the one with the hills that yeah. you hated and Alyssa loved. I know. It's also where we did the go-karts. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It's a cool thing. That was when was, we went with Mitchell. Yeah. So then, so we leave for California on Friday, and the whole time, we're driving there, and we're like, there's these signs saying, like, wet roads. There's, like, sandbags hanging out on the sides of the road. Not thinking too much of it. Go on the internet and see that, like, a massive storm is due to start mauling the state of California on Sunday. And I was yeah. like, well, shit, I hope we get out of there in time. And then <laughs> I figured we would, right? Okay, no big deal. Then I saw an alert that Red Rock Canyon, just outside of Las Vegas, was supposed to get a nasty snowfall starting Sunday at 6. Yeah. So I was like, oh, no, we're going to cut it a little close, given that weather people are never correct, like about everything. We're going to cut it really close. They weren't right about what was happening in Las Vegas. Like, it's been raining here all day. But it, they were wrong about, or they were they were correct about what the weather was going to be like on our drive here. Because it was nice. It was just starting to get a little windy. But Well, what I did was we, we kept an eye on what, what it was where, in the city where we were. Mm -hmm. And it didn't say anything about rain until 3 o'clock. So we knew that if we got out of there before 3 o'clock, we weren't getting rained on there. Right. Then we looked at... Uh, Ranch Cucamonga, no rain until Monday. Victorville, no rain until Monday. Uh, Baker, no rain until Monday. And then um, Prim, Nevada, no rain until Monday. All right, good. That's the route. Once you go from there, once you cross Prim, you're only like 30 minutes from the Strip. Right. So, so like an hour from our house-ish. We made it home just as the rain was starting to get needing us to put windshield wipers on. Yeah, we pulled in right then. And we even had to take a detour to get to Doug. Yeah, it's pretty good. Doug had a sleepover with our good friend and her dog, Lola. Yep, and her cat, Max. Max, rad. Yeah, he's a cool cat. And then Yogi and Bree came with us to California because they're madly in love with your children. Yeah, it was fun. I had a good time. Um, but like I said, it was kind of hectic because they were so busy. We had a... And it made us so busy. I mean... We had a separate meal with each of them. So that was really nice because we got the like us and them time to just chitter chatter about yep. whatnot. Yep. Then we had a family meal. Right. And then today we had a, just a Mitchell and Alyssa meal. Yeah. And the family meal added like significant others. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. It was a good time. And that was the purpose. It was just to kind of, you know, we don't get to see them like we used to. Right. And so this way we get to go see them like we used to. Right. You know what I think would be nice, sir, than what we did is maybe, um, maybe once we go for like a couple more days than we went and rent an Airbnb or something that has a kitchen uh -huh. and just like have them over, have food and yeah. have like family game night together. Cause that's one of the things I miss about living close to them is they could come over and we'd play cards against humanity or we'd play like right. something on the switch. We don't right. get to do that and we can't do that at their house. No. So it'd be neat to have, or even like, even honestly, the suite we stayed in last time, because it had that whole couch area. Yeah. We could, we could have had them over and yeah. had like family game night, which would have been really cool. And we could have done that this time too. Yeah. Like on Saturday night, instead of what, instead of going out for dinner, get something brought in and do it that night. Yeah. Because everybody could have come. Yeah. I just wonder if we would have gotten the same turnout. That's all. But it was a good time. They 
they caught us up on everything that's going on in their life pretty much um yeah. they uh usually keep a low profile but the, the i have to say the change in your relationship with my daughter is so different. It's Dude, crazy. She conned me into buying hamster fabric that I'm actually really excited to pass. It was cute. Yeah, we had a good time. So, yeah, but it's I'm exhausted now. I mean, we just drove back. Uh, we picked up the Douglas, came home. We we got some, some wings to eat. And then uh, here we are. Yep. So I think it's I think it's close to bedtime. So It certainly is. Like the SARS is sleeping. Yogi and Doug are probably sleeping. So, good night, everyone. Hasta la bye bye. Thank you for listening to the Nightly Rant. If you enjoyed the show, please give us a five star rating on Apple Podcasts or Google Play. If you didn't enjoy the show, please just ignore that previous request for a rating. This has been a Yogi's Podcast Network production. <laughs>